Welcome to another CTV Sports presentation. CTV Sports is brought to you by St. Clair Chevy Buick GMC. We care. By Murphy Inn Restaurant and Hotel in St. Clair. By North Star Bank, North Star, guiding the way. By Neiman's Family Market. By St. Clair Home Goods and Ace Hardware. And by CTV, Community TV for Marine City and St. Clair. Well, welcome back, everyone. John Carter along with Brad Robbins, and we got the nightcap of uh, today's doubleheader. Saints of St. Clair taking on their longtime rival, Marysville Vikings. The teams have already finished their warm ups and are lining up now. Let's turn it over to Coach Denny White for the announcement of the national anthem and the players' lineup.
Well, welcome back, everyone. John Carter along with Brad Robinson. Interesting ball game shaping up. Saints taking on the Vikings, both teams 2-0 after the start of the season. Yeah, good start for both squads. Some experience coming back. Sounds like Marysville's pretty athletic. I had the opportunity to talk to some people that had seen them play. They like to get up and down the floor, but there's some questions about the competition that they faced up to this point. I think we can wonder that about the Saints a little bit, too, so maybe get to learn a little bit about each other here today. Um, Saints home court. All right, Saints will start Ryan Zimmer at center, Matt Eisenhart, Sean Donaldson, Scott Selleck, and Garrison Dombrowski. Zimmer will be jumping against Brendan Moran for Marysville. DeMarco Singleton, Brian Butler, Brendan, Ryan Basie, and Josh Weihoffer round out the Marysville start. Five controlled by St. Clair. Dombrowski quickly, Selleck, corner jumper, off the rim no good, and <laughs> bodies are flying already. This is DeMarco Singleton bringing it up against Sean Donaldson. Basie, guarded by Dombrowski. Good look off the uh, opening tap. And the Saints, Selleck in the corner, and then force a turn. Slippage there by the Marysville player. Marysville comes out. 1-2-2, two, two. zone press, three quarters. Dabrowski to Selleck. Dabrowski, Selleck gets it over half court just in time. Dabrowski hits down deep, Donaldson reach in foul against Moran. It'll be first foul against, Saint, against Marysville. Saints will take it out of bounds. Teams match up pretty well height wise. Eisenhardt for Zimmer, and Zimmer both around 6-4, down deep, Zimmer. Jump hook in and out, and a jump ball. A nice job by Garrison Dombrowski. And gets a possession up there for St. Clair. It'll be Marysville ball. Next arrow will go to St. Clair. Dombrowski, you can already tell, kind of sets the tone for toughness. Brings a little bit of energy and aggression. Gets the tie up there, and then immediately turns around and gets ready to try and deny the ball. In. Lost again by Marysville. Two straight turnovers for the Vikings. 0 0. Nightcap here. St. Clair versus Marysville. Three quarter court look. Extended out 1 2 2 for the Vikings. Looking for things like that to happen. The right call there. The only person that touched that was Scott Selleck. Wasn't tipped at all. And first touch, next touch. Ball's going to go to the Vikings on a turnover. So the 1 2 2 works wonders, slows the Saints down, and then ultimately forces a turnover. Pass number 10. Ryan Basie, Butler, and Schweighoffer. Butler, hard of the hoop. Can't get the basket, but that's going to be a foul on Dombrowski. Tried to close off the lane, didn't get there quite quick enough. Sinclair foul number two. Here Good aggressive take by Brian Butler. Butler. Attacking the teeth of the Saints defense. They look like they want to be aggressive. First shot something good by Butler. 6 1 senior guard. Second shot's up, off back rim no good, rebounded by Selleck. Saints, you think, would like to push the, the, the pace here a little bit. Selleck thought about it, not there. Dombrowski. Baseline. Eisenhart. Got some room, goes to the hoop, can't get it. Rebounded by Butler for Marysville. Good trap here by the Saints. Tracy makes the catch. Selleck up ahead. Moran. Got it. Quick forward here, zero lead for Marysville, and there's a lot of, lot of excitement here. And again, knocked away by Marysville. Nowhere to go that time, and here comes Zimmer. And he's gonna get foul call that time, and Ryan Zimmer goes to the hoop. 
And he'll be shooting two. There you see a little bit of that athleticism out of Zimmer. Able to come up with the loose ball. Take it all the way down the court. Pretty comfortable handling the basketball. First shot's up. Back room, no good. For the Saints, number 20, Brady Gleason will come in replacing Matt Eisenhart. Second shot for Zimmer. That one's good. Saints on the board. Basie, kind of a sideline break look there by Marysville. Saints back quickly. Moran. And again, another turnover from Marysville. <laughs> they, they've made a couple shots they've taken, but they've, uh, yeah. <laughs> they've also put the ball on the, <laughs> on the floor a bunch. Uh, they put it on the deck and out of bounds a few times. Saints haven't done much, much better. As you see there, the one 2 is causing problems. Saints seem to be playing at a pace that's unnecessary for that. Uh, once it's broken, I think last time they tried to throw it way over the top an extra time. That time you've got Gleason straddling the middle of the floor and tries to make a backhanded pass. He could have just, just taken a pivot, probably brought the ball up the middle. So you need to recognize where the gaps are in that zone and take advantage. Saints. They're man-to-man, -man. and again, Marys will lose it. Well, just like with the girls' game, this is a, a, a rivalry game. It's not the first game for either of these teams, but uh, certainly full gym, a little bit of jitters, I think, on both sides. It's a game circled on the schedule, and you got some guys fumbling around a little bit. It'll clean up as we go. Dombrowski gets it in. And he's very talented on that kind of running one-handed. Not overly quick or a great leaper, but he, he's clever and gets the ball off. Uses his body well, thicker guy, stronger guy. He can he can get between, he can get where he needs to go. We'll put it that way. They got to address that area of the floor. It's three or four times it appears that the floor is moist in that area. Guys are falling down. Donaldson all the way in, left handed and scores. That's moved by Sean Donaldson. Weaves through the defense, not allowing the zone to set up there. Marysville gets an easy bucket. A lot of things like we saw last year. And Zimmer with the block. Ryan Zimmer erased that shot. Wholesale substitutions for Marysville, just what announcers like the first night. <laughs> Saints looking to get rematched. Four out of the five players from Marysville. Lasher Woodward, number four is right. Chopper no good, rebounded by Selleck. And here comes Dabrowski. Saints at five in a row. Dabrowski, and that's going to be a foul as uh, uh, number 11, Cade Perrin. And Garrison got his shoulders passed and was able to get a lane. Austin Schweiger checks for the Saints. Schweiger in. Zimmer out to Schweiger. So three pointer in and out. Zimmer with the rebound. Can't get it. Pretty nice job by Zimmer on the glass. Got to find a way to finish, but I like the presence using his Three pointer is good by Singleton. Marysville changes its defense. Now a new man to man look. They lead 7 5. Donaldson. Down deep. Gleason. Nice pass. Zimmer. Got it. Quarterback finds a guy there, Brady Gleason. Nice look. Doing a great job of using his body for position uh, down low. First foul on Donaldson. Looking to do the double team that actually had a chance, but. Uh, Caught being a little bit too aggressive. Singleton. Tries to force it inside. Nice turnover for Marysville. Dombrowski all the way in. Can't get it. Rebounded by Marysville. Here comes Singleton. Pretty good take by Donaldson there. Unfortunately, couldn't get the home roll. Zimmer up ahead. Schweiger 
Knocked away. Picked up by Gleason. Cross court, wide open. Schweiger can't get it off. Gleason now. And back out. Saints reset. Seven all tie. Two minutes, 40 seconds left. Down deep. Gleason. Good matchup again. Donaldson's got a lane. And going for an offensive foul. Second foul on Sean Donaldson. You can see Coach Corey Tan on the same sideline asking Brady Gleason to go up with that. I think he wants him to take that matchup and score on him and not distribute the ball. Credit the Saints there. It looked like they had a transition opportunity, showed some maturity, and slowed it down when they really didn't. And unfortunately, Sean Donaldson, I think, picks up his second quick. Going back to last year covering games, we know that's a high-energy guy, but he can uh, find himself in some foul trouble at times. And this year, he's definitely a guy that's going to be counted on to be the, on the floor and rebounding uh, for four quarters. So, got to rein him in a little bit. Lenarski and Carter Dabrowski come in for St. Clair. Back away, Gleason. Blocked and fouled. That's the right call. It was a little late whistle. I was shocked we didn't hear it. Might be fortunate for uh, Marysville anyways. Ryan Zimmer picked that up quick, and he can just jump from there and dunk it. Yes. So. Might have, might have saved him a little momentum with the late whistle. Logan Wright picks up the foul. Gleason shot, back rim no good. Seven all. One shot now for Brady Gleason. That's good. Saints now with a little pressure. Lenarski. Gleason on Singleton. The crossover. Takes it to the rim, can't get it. Rebound by Zimmer. Schweiger. All the way to the hoop. Knocked away by Marysville. Saints have given up a couple shots that look pretty good to uh, <laughs> unselfish, but they're. All right, you can applaud the selflessness, but at some point, you're going to want. Uh, we want these guys to pull some shots here and um, instead of passing up. Eisenhardt back in for Saints for Ryan Zimmer. Zimmer had a nice first couple minutes with rebounding. Tickler, Carter Dombrowski. Nice pass. Leeson with it up. Nice body work again. Gleason using space. Protecting the ball, getting up smooth on the left. Moran's back in and affecting a, a dribble that time. And another turnover for Marysville. That caught between a guy coming to set a screen and probably fortunate anyways for Brian Butler because I think he traveled and <laughs> they didn't call anything and he threw the ball out of bounds. So probably all square there. Carter Dombrowski up front. Mary's little man. Schweiger out to Lenarski. Three pointer, rim no good. And rebounded by Marysville. Basic comes up quickly, guarded by Lenarski. Butler. Here's Singleton. That's going to be a block against Gleason. No shot. Gleason not in any position to be falling for a, a charge there. Not able to really sell it when you're on the side. Singleton showing an ability to get to the rim though early on here. Something to watch for as the Saints talked about conditioning. I know it's game three for the boys, but harder to keep in front of guys. That's a tough shot right there. Brian Moran with a backup three-pointer. That's two in a row for him. Right in front of the St. student section. Gives the uh, Vikings some energy. 10 all tie. Get the impression both teams are still kind of feeling themselves out right now. Dombrowski, Gleason, Lenarski cross court. 
Back to Dombrowski. Down to 17 seconds left. Lenar star Dombrowski. Reminiscent of his brother. Good body control. Finds space. Uses some strength. Creates space. Get to the cup. And I think that's going to be a push in the back at Schweighoffer. Saints basketball. Just a second left. Viking foul, number 22, Josh Schleimacher, his first. We weren't quite ready. Yeah. Kind of an awkward pause there. It looked like Schweiger was uh, content just to catch. Turning quickly, Schweiger had a chance. Gave it a look. Thank Gave it a look, got it there. and So kind of a fast-paced quarter. Saints lead 12-10. We'll be back in a moment to bring you the second quarter. Come to the Murphy Inn and enjoy the pub atmosphere or the dining room, which both offer a diner's menu. Murphy Inn offerings include the best pizza, burgers, ribs, steak, and fish around. Plus, there are great daily specials, such as endless pasta, chicken, or fish and chips. Karaoke is every Wednesday and Saturday from 8 p.m. until midnight. Murphy Inn hosts live entertainment each Thursday and Friday from 8 until midnight. The Byrne Huber family appreciates the opportunity to serve you at the Murphy Inn. Neiman's Family Market. Experience the Neiman's Family difference. Fresh fruits and vegetables where Michigan-grown products are featured daily. Local is more than what Neiman sells. It's who they are. From Grandpa John's Quality Meats since 1952, featuring a complete meat and deli department, to Grandma Sophie's Bakery, to the Corner Cafe, even a complete pharmacy to serve you. That's what Neiman's Family Market is. Experience the Neiman family difference. Welcome back, everyone. John Carter along with Brad Robbins. High energy first quarter. Not a lot of damage done on the scoreboard. Marysville had a number of turnovers. The Saints had some against their press. 12 to 10. As I said, both teams kind of feeling each other out. Saints come back with their starting five. Donaldson will have two fouls, so he's got to be a little careful. Selleck, Eisenhart, Zimmer, and Garrison Dombrowski. And Marysville Connors with its starting five. Basie, Moran, Singleton, Butler, and Schweighoffer. Backdoor cut, not there. Selleck, Donaldson, Zimmer. Both coaches went pretty deep into their playing rotation in uh, the first quarter, keeping guys fresh. Matt Eisenhart missed a three there. Good looking shot, good, looking, good look at it. Schweighoffer tipped away by Zimmer. Moran to the hole, can't get it. Rebounded off the fingertips of Zimmer. It'll stay Marysville basketball onto their own basket. Saints early on looking to set the record for most deflections <laughs> and non-steals <laughs> and continued possession for the opponent here. Lots of times with a, a hand on the ball or close to it and not able to come away with anything. That was a tough, tough shot there. It's gave up going to the basket and took a sliding three. No rim. Moran's already hit two threes and then came up woefully short. He's trying to lobby for a tip there, which I would too, but I didn't see it. And the Saints get the possession back. All right, Garrison Dombrowski brings it up. Eisenhart. Zimmer underneath the basket, can't get it. Eisenhart back to Zimmer. Dombrowski, Selleck open, top of the key. Back rim, no good. Rebounded by Eisenhart. And puts it in. That was an adult rebound that time by Matt Eisenhart. Nice job sticking with the play, getting yourself an opportunity to get a put back. Selleck was almost too open. It created an out of rhythm shot. Butler misses a three. Good rebound again by Zimmer. Dombrowski kicked away by Basie. Get the feeling there's an emphasis on behalf of the Saints. They want to get the ball inside and work that way first. I think I, I would be going in that direction as well. I think Zimmer and Eisenhardt have had a couple opportunities to finish around the cup and they haven't been able to. They'll start to fall. I think that is a matchup they can exploit. All right, John Donaldson resets. Looks like a 1 2 2 look from Marysville. Nice pass inside. Zimmer, he's got it. 
Right on cue. That time he's able to catch really good hands. I think that's the first thing that jumps off uh, the page for me is the hands that Zimmer and Eisenhardt have around the rim, catching the ball above their body. And Singleton misses the three, but long rebound to Basie. Butler, again, Singleton. Turns around, Moran, got it. He sets his feet, he's a pretty good three-point shooter. Really nice job by the Saints, actually, of getting into the gaps that time and not allowing the dribble drive out of Singleton, but that's three times now, like you mentioned. Moran made him pay. I think they're going to have, have to help off someone else. Cut now. Donaldson with a history. Not a switch, he had the big guy on him, and Sean just rose up, knocked it down. Really a tough shot. Kind of just rocked him to sleep just a little bit. Went ahead and fired it. Moran again. Brendan Moran is a 6'3 senior, and he's having a pretty good first half. He's got a 11 of the Vikings, 19 points. Vikings with a lapse on the backside early on. You saw a lot of guys coming over on the back end of Zimmer, and right now the Saints are recognizing that you stop doing that a little bit, and you're getting that throw over the top. And I'm not sure Ryan Zimmer's a lot taller, but he's got long arms and good timing on the jump, and uh, three-pointer no good that time by Basie. Again, Zimmer. And Ryan Zimmer had a big double-double last week against North Branch, 23 and 20. Dombrowski all the way in. Oh, can't get it. Rebounded by Selleck and taken away by Marysville. Yeah, you can see Ryan Zimmer's a good matchup for us. As you mentioned, it's not about where both of their foreheads meet. When Ryan raises his hand, that wingspan is impressive. Is impressive and he's got good hands to boot, so you can, he can put it to good use. Schweighoffer all the way in. Can't get the left. Singleton can't get it. Rebounded. Knocked around and off to St. Clair. Kate Perrin. Perrin comes back in. Schweighoffer takes the rest. 21 15. 349. Schweiger will come in replacing Dombrowski. A lot of good energy out of those guys that just went to the bench, doing a nice job. Missed by Basie in the corner. Schweiger smartly pulls it up that time. Zimmer in the corner to Selleck. Selleck's got a little bit of a lane. Quickly to Zimmer, and he gets it. And I'm not sure what Marysville's doing underneath, but <laughs> I think I'd find somebody to guard uh, Ryan Zimmer right now. Yeah, well, they started off doing pretty well. They had the, the backside helper. They were kind of pinching him. Then they tried the 1-2-2 zone with no trapping, and it allowed the Saints to move the ball into the middle of the paint. Zimmer's got good enough hands that I think pinching him and not letting him catch it is the way to go. It'll be very difficult. If he's getting his hands on it at the block, one-on-one, -on -one, that's just tough to stop. Perrin, three-pointer's got it. Schweiger to Delore. <laughs> Back up front, Schweiger. Selleck. Delore, I'm sorry, Schweiger. Pull up jumper, no good, rebounded, tipped. And controlled ultimately by Eisenhardt. Saints, em Saints employing a trendy method of offensive rebound, you slap it back out. Yep. Nice take by Schweiger, left-handed. Saints now lead 25-18. Intensity is dialed up here in the second quarter. So is the quality of basketball. A little cleaner here. There's the Zimmer. Whoop. Kind of lost his, his footing. And I, that's, that's, you can short leg yourself and uh, turn your ankle or Twist the knee doing that. 
have to see if Ryan Zimmer's okay. Yeah, one of those things where uh, you got the opportunity to dunk in a rivalry game and just couldn't get his footwork correct. <laughs> his feet got mixed up and wasn't able to finish. And Perrin makes the jumper, Armstead makes the foul shot. Gleason is going to replace Ryan Zimmer. I think they want to check to make sure he's okay. Despite the missed dunk, he's had a very good first half. Oh, he's been excellent. I think he just kind of locked his knee up funny or stepped funny. and It's a little bit awkward. Right. Seemed to be moving okay. Schweiger. Knocked away by Butler. Gleason will trigger it in. Schweiger Eisenhower coming up on two minutes. Saints lead by five points. Schweiger, Eisenhardt, Delore. Butler, the pan and has it. Quick run by Marysville. Put up four straight points. Cut the lead down to 25-22. As we mentioned, Saints got a couple wins. They knocked off North Branch. It's interesting, the same team they faced in the district finals, I think, in, uh, in football. So <laughs> North Branch is 0 for, the, 0 for the year so far against St. Clair. Yeah. Well, at least there's a positive in that since boys basketball started earlier, um, this year and the playoffs ran into more conflict. At least both teams were pretty much uh, at the same disadvantage practice wise early in the season, which wouldn't be the case for Port here on when the Saints are playing them. So I guess they had that going for them. And really, North Bridge had one extra week of practice, right? For right, they did. To play for. <laughs> so. And the Saints also knocked off Port here on in their first game. Mentioned balance scoring for St. Clair. Ryan Zimmer has been a, a force both rebounding and scoring, but Donaldson, Selleck, Eisenhardt, all been contributing. Obviously, Ben Davidson not here after being the leading scorer three years in a row. The Saints has to find had to find some new offense. Well, that coupled with, you know, Mario Matson, another guy who brought the ball a lot and, and contributed double figures. It just opens the door for uh, some new guys to step up and fill the box score. And if Zimmer's the guy or Schweiger's the guy, That'll kind of play itself out as the year goes along because the varsity basketball team needs to get into the 50s and 60s to be good, and you got to get there with the guys you got. Scott Selleck with an opportunity. You know, he's a guy who was a key contributor for a, you know, a streaky shooter, and I think if you can see him step up and become a little more consistent. I think Garrison Dombrowski's got it in his mind. He's going to be one of those guys just sure. based on his body language and the aggression that he's playing with on the offensive end, and that's fine. That's why he's starting, I'm sure. Schweiger, one on one. First shot's up. Back rim. Rounces around. Can't get it. Rebounded by Perrin. Rebound knocked away by Marysville. C parted there, and Fortunate for the Saints, they kind of recovered and altered the shot that Logan Wright took. Here comes Dombrowski. Eisenhardt thought about it, didn't take it. Schweiger, still 25-22, minute 15 left here, first quarter, first half, half I should say. Outside, down, Dombrowski, he's got it. Jumper, three-pointer, off the feed for Schweiger. Another good shot. You like those inside out threes where you get penetration and then that's going to be on the line, three seconds. It's got to make something happen the first time you turn. They're not going to let you turn twice in there. Right on that baseline, over to go. Underneath the rim, the count was on. You mentioned the inside out look, you know, dating back to when you first start playing, that's the most common one you get. Somebody rebounds for you inside and kicks it out, and you start shooting. Kids seem to make that one at a higher rate. Try to get those through your offense as much as you can. Nebrowski looks inside, Zimmer back in. Jumper from the foul line. In and out, no good. Rebound, tipped away and controlled by Marysville. Butler up quickly. 
Hard of the basket, can't get it. Rebound Zimmer, and Zimmer's got at least 10 rebounds in the first half. Yeah, he's already working on a double-double, nine points over 10 boards. He seems to be moving up and down the floor fine after the missed up dunk attempt. Good feed inside and converted by Gleason, who's not particularly tall, but is, is strong and knows how to use his body. Three-pointer is gonna be short, rebounded by Schweiger. And at the buzzer, no good for Marysville and the Saints after the first half, lead 30-22. And, and Brad, intensity kind of ratcheted up a bit there in the second quarter. Yeah, I think the pace of play at the beginning of the second quarter and then the quality of play at the beginning of the second quarter, all the way until about that last minute there, was pretty darn good. I think at the end you saw some guys starting to press uh, the issue a little bit, and then that was illustrated perfectly by the last little sequence there on the rebound. Uh, but an eight-point lead for the Saints, they got to be pleased with that. All right, after one, Saints lead 30-22. We'll be back in just a moment with the second half. North Star Bank is a true community bank whose loan approvals are made locally by bankers who live in our community, understanding your needs and will meet face to face to discuss what's important to you. From opening accounts to recommending products and services, North Star Bank looks forward to sitting down with you and building a strong relationship to reach your financial goals. North Star Bank, guiding the way. Loans are subject to credit approval, equal housing lender, and member of FDIC. Welcome back, everyone. John Carter along with Brad Robbins watching St. Clair Saints boys basketball here on community television, CTV. And Brad, Saints, I guess it was an okay half, 30 points. That's kind of a, a, a the range you want to be in, but certainly some, some play that can be improved in the second half. Yeah, I got a little helter skelter at times. Uh, not very organized. There were some turnovers early, quite frankly. It was ugly for both teams early. Uh, both teams went on a couple of little runs. You saw uh, Ryan Zimmer really start to assert himself in that matchup, and Marysville not do as good a job um, defending it. And then at the other end, we let uh, Moran get loose a few times, and he hit some big three-pointers. So he's got 11 for Marysville out of their 22, and Zimmer's got nine uh, for the Saints and definitely over 10 rebounds. Uh, those two guys kind of pushing the pace, and we'll see how it goes here in the second half. All right, Marysville basketball. Start second half, Saints in the man-to-man, -man, down deep. And trying to get it to Singleton, guarded by Dabrowski. Dabrowski basically bodied him out of the way. Good defensive play. Marysville, again with a trap, but they back off a little bit. And Dabrowski bring it up, court against Basie. Zimmer on the outside, guarded by Moran. Selleck tipped away by Basie. No backcourt. Saints had that issue right there with uh, Marysville. Way up in passing lanes. Didn't make some good decisions. Got to use some back cuts. Get some things going toward the rim in that case. And you see now, they last two times they posed a Zimmer up, he had the help on the backside. And what that's going to have to happen is the offside four has got to dive in the hoop. And Donaldson tipped up. And off of Marysville. Good play again by Ryan Zimmer. He kept that, ba that basketball in play off the rebound. Donaldson down deep. Uh, good anticipation by Singleton. Did nice pass. Or did it slip out of his hand? I think it just Chicago. slipped out a little yeah. bit. Yep. Good fast break by Marysville. It's kind of a token look here. Marysville's backing up. Going to play a, more of a sagging man to man, I think. Selleck controls at half court. Do you think this be a, a matchup the Saints might take advantage of, Selleck against Schweighoffer? Do you think Selleck would have a little bit of quickness on him? And that, uh, earlier on, we mentioned kind of where guys' roles could expand a little bit. And uh, I see Selleck as a guy who might be able to be a little more aggressive going to the cup when he's been pretty much a standstill shooter, uh, you know, when you have guys like Ben Davidson distributing the basketball. He needs to look for some opportunities, like you mentioned there. That's a pretty good matchup. He's to be able to rip through and get to the cup and then make somebody else's stand still shoot. Exactly. You know, the, exactly. That's now the next the next part for him being a senior and a guy that can score it. Corey Tan called a quick 30-second timeout. He didn't like the way that possession was 
developing, and uh, I think a good time out there as the Saints were kind of caught in the top side here. Saints yeah. will bring it in. Marysville's done a nice job of not only the backside on Zimmer, but kind of forcing him out, and then getting into the passing lanes, making things difficult on the St. Clair guards. A nice adjustment by Coach Beaver. Dombrowski gets it to Eisenhart. Stalick. Now one of the things they could do is post Eisenhart and let him take some one-on-one -on -one moves because it doesn't look like Marysville will try to double team against him. Marysville's playing kind of a matchup uh, zone. They, they're keeping number 10 and all that length. That's Ryan Basie. They're just keeping him at the top and letting him choose the passing lanes. Saints struggling to find an offense that's, that's going to work. You can see it's, it's almost double team on Zimmer though. Yep, coupled with, yes, pinching hard down there. Tipped away by Schweighoffer. Wonder if they're going to double down on Zimmer, if you'll see some backside block openings. You know, obviously it's a tough pass, but Eisenhardt on the backside of it might, might be able to find some gaps, get some layups. Not sure what the call is here. called for a push. Eisenhart walked in, scored. And again, that overemphasis on Ryan Zimmer and Matt Eisenhart snuck to the basket, got an easy one. Singleton. Part of the hook, can't, can't convert, but he draws a foul. I gotta tell you, we've been kind of watching how the last two sequences went. I think Coach Beaver's lobbying and probably justifiably so, uh, questioning the call at that end on Basie. Might have earned his way back with a call there. Especially on the down side, side, calling something in the middle of the paint is yeah. abnormal, uh, unless maybe you're getting barked at <laughs> and feel obligated to. Second shot's up and good. DeMarco Singleton with two. Kind of like the aggression that the Vikings have come out here with. Much more assertive defensively and slowed the Saints down a little bit, taking some energy out of their offense. Dombrowski now, top of the key, Eisenhart. Donaldson, got a lane. Back out to Eisenhart. Eisenhart again, back to Back door, can't get it. And here comes Moran. Shots long, rebounded by Singleton, controlled by Zimmer, and he's fouled. Good rebound that time by Ryan Zimmer. He's, he was accosted underneath the basket, but still managed to hold on to make good play. Mentioned that wingspan earlier, using it to his advantage. He kept the ball high, and everybody else has got to reach up there. And as he tried to outlet the basketball, clearly grabbed there by Josh Schweighoffer, draws the foul. 32-26. Dombrowski working in. Outside, Eisenhart's open. Jumper's good. Good play by Dombrowski there. Penetration, dish out, wide open three. That might have to be the recipe right now. Marysville's coming out playing with some good aggression. Honestly, they look like a little bit different team. Yep, Butler with the three. Latched onto a different identity in the locker room. They're coming out here and being real aggressive on the ball and in the passing lanes. Saints are gonna have to drive by and look for those opportunities to dish or kick. Eisenhardt again, off the rim, no good, rebounded by Moran. Eisenhardt would steal. And he's fouled. Good aggressive move to the basket that time. Eisenhardt took it all the way. Good defensive play there with Matt. Made the steal. And drove the entire length of the court. Drew the foul. Second foul on Moran. And Eisenhardt will be shooting two. 
real foul trouble for either team. Shots up and good. Moran, unfortunately, put himself in that position. It wasn't a very good pass, and Eisenhardt picked it off, so he's got to he's got to take that one, take responsibility for it, and put Matt Eisenhardt at the line. Schweiger comes back in for St. Clair. Second shot, Eisenhardt, tough and good. Matt Eisenhardt with five points in a row. So as soon as Marysville goes to emphasizing taking Ryan Zimmer away, Eisenhardt has nine of his own. Yeah. Good move by DeMarco Singleton there. And he's a pretty good player. He's tough Swagger. to stop. Brings it back out front. Smart move here, reset it. Donaldson. Try that, that tough pass right there. Perrin gets it to Butler. Singleton. Can't score. Maybe trying to do a little bit too much there. I was just gonna say, if you're if you're Coach Bewer, you, uh, you don't mind that though. You're gonna have to live with that a little bit out of Singleton, because what he does really well is get to the cup. If he's going too fast, he's not gonna shoot 100%, you know? So he's shown that he's kind of the one that's gonna get them to the basket and be aggressive. And unfortunately, we see it on our end. Same thing. Yep, Carter Dombrowski, I believe, just a little bit too, or Garrison, excuse me, just a little too aggressive and gets a player control foul. Trying to do too much. Gleason and Lenarski back in for St. Clair. Gleason now, guard Singleton. Butler, tough shot. Knocked away by Perrin, and he gets it and gets the foul. Steal, foul, and basket. Huge play by Kate Perrin. Just a massive play. And right there, we, we've sung the praises of Ryan Zimmer keeping the ball away, and that time gets a little lax with it, gets it taken, and then follows up with the end one foul. All right, oh, makes it oh, three-point game. game. Yeah, yep. we're on now. Saints had a little bit of a cushion. Now I don't want to be there. <laughs> Tipped away by St. Clair. Game's lost its continuity here, and this I think is to Marysville advantage. Little held to Skelter, and Marysville's taken a couple points in a row now. Butler. Big part of the game plan has been to get the ball inside for the Saints, and Marysville doing a really good job right now of taking that away. Jump ball, nice play by Lenarski. A double team there. It's a Point guard turned his back, which is a cardinal sin, and uh, Lenarski got there quickly. Turnover, St. Clair basketball. Schweiger, guarded by Logan Wright. Lenarski in the corner. Same area, yeah, spacing wise yeah, there. Spacing's not real good here. Eisenhart, Lenarski thought about it, a little too far out. Good recovery by the Vikings though. It looked like it was an opening and nothing there. Then a good hustle play. Tip the, tip the foot of uh, number four, or number 11, Perrin. A lot of people on the ground. That was a good, strong play there. Subs coming in for Marysville. Brand Schweighoffer, Evan Woodard. Saints up by three, 37-34. Donaldson will come back in, replacing Eisenhart. I'd say the momentum squarely in Marysville's corner right now. Saints, the Saints need to find some rhythm, 
get in the paint, maybe steal a little bit of it back here in the last minute. Lunarski, open, three. Oh. Big shot. <laughs> Defensive play, and then a three for Jared Lunarski. Tipped away by St. Clair. Donaldson in the middle. And he's fouled from behind. Nice aggressive take. Ends up being a good substitution by Corey Tanton. You get Donaldson back in, and immediately you're benefited with him turning, getting a turnover, bringing it down, and drawing a, foul, a third foul on Schweighoffer. Third foul on Schweighoffer. Neither team in any kind of team foul trouble. Under a minute of play. Donaldson, just inside half court. Gleason, cross court. Schweiger, Donaldson. Schweiger goes hard, knocked away by Perrin. 41 seconds left, Saints up by six. 40-34. Gleason will bring it inbounds. Initially a good matchup there. Foul again on Marysville. That was good play, I think, by Zimmer. It was tied up, but he, he ripped that ball through. And uh, I actually heard a slap, I thought. Yeah, he was able to recover the basketball. Marysville's coaching staff doesn't like it. But it looked like he was going clean through and kind of got caught on the elbow. You certainly do see that ignored, but I don't know that there wasn't a foul. Gleason. Now a traveling violation that I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure I agree with, but here we are anyhow. So 30 seconds left, back six point lead for St. Clair. That was a big, big turnaround there. Woodard tipped away, controlled by Schweiger. Goes hard to the basket and draws a foul. That one's hard to argue. You turn that over in the front court, and the guy goes right up into you. Looks like got all kinds of arm. We've reached some level of normalcy with that with that whistle. Um, Austin Schweiger at the line. Schweiger will be shooting two. Six foul for Marysville. Next one will be bonus. And as always with these rivalry games, foul shooting will be important. Schweiger for Chess, no good. Butler comes back in, places Woodard. Twenty seconds. Schweiger on the line for a second of two. Shots up and it's good. Schweighoffer brings it in. Then Butler guarded by Schweiger. Yeah, this is a good matchup. He doesn't look comfortable at all. Good hustle that time by St. Clair. Schweighoffer, long three. Rebounded by Zimmer. And after three quarters, Saints with a seven point lead and got a little testy there in the third quarter. Yeah, you can see uh, I really, really like and would commend Coach Bewer and the Vikings on the defensive adjustment. I think they did exactly what they needed to do. I think the last two minutes of the, or the third quarter there were important for the Saints in, in keeping this at seven when it was down to, to just three. And, a seven point lead is seeming like a, a pretty good one now in a little slower pace game. All right, we'll be back in just a moment to bring you the fourth quarter. St. Clair Home Goods and Ace Hardware is open seven days a week in the Riverview Plaza. Everything you need in hardware from wiring, paint, tools, outdoor equipment, and even picnic and camping items. Check the specials on Valspar Paint and the Ace Hardware specials. St. Clair Home Goods and Ace Hardware also has a complete gift department with candles, outdoor furniture, grills, and much, much more. St. Clair Home Goods and Ace Hardware. All right, welcome back, everybody. Neil Diamond brings us back. Fourth quarter, Saints up by seven. Marysville basketball. Schweighoffer looks for Basie. And Gerald Linarski's brought a, a defensive quickness here that's been important the last couple of minutes. 
Just Another giving, hand on the ball. Giving some energy off the bench, doing a nice job. Good help there by Austin Schweiger on the attempted spin move by Moran. Butler, three-pointer. Tough shot. Rebound is knocked off the hands of Zimmer. As good a job as Marysville did on Ryan Zimmer in the third quarter, the Saints equally slowed uh, Moran a little bit, who mm -hmm. had 11 in the first half, had none there. And he got and one right I, there. <laughs> and maybe I should just be quiet. The dreaded announcer curse. Yeah. Ryan Moran with the basket. Well, maybe Zimmer will score on this end. Lenarski. And then Sean Donaldson in. Gleason. Moran. Pull up. Nice shot. Really tough shot with Ryan Zimmer and those long arms right in his face. That was a, Good shot. a heck of a job by Moran. He's feeling it tonight. Schweiger. There you see Schweiger for Garden on the backside, helping to protect Zimmer from getting the ball. Lenarski's open on the other end. Lenarski, three pointer, can't get it. Rebounded by Moran. Good job by Moran, clearing space, keeping Zimmer on his back. Basie up against Lenarski. Singleton against Donaldson. Three point basketball game. On the floor, it's going to be a reach, I think, by Donaldson. 14 foul for St. Clair. Matt Eisenhart will come in, replacing Gleason. Not in huge trouble yet, but the third for Donaldson. So see how the next couple of minutes go. It shouldn't be an issue, but with with Sean, you just never know. Yes. Moran out front. Eisenhart on him. Oh, good rebound by Singleton. Knocked away. Can't get it, but Singleton with a lot of work under the basket. And Raresville getting some rebounds. Saints giving up way too many per possession. And uh, Carter Dombrowski. Need to clear some out. Singleton and Moran right now are having a field day on the glass. It's down to a one possession ball game. Singleton, way out front, guarded by Swagger. Casey. Oh, good move, wow. Reverse layup, and that's a one point game. Little statement there by Basie for his first two of the night. Tough shot. Everybody kind of, it looked like the body language that he was gonna sling the ball you know, from the baseline to the corner, which you see a lot of times, and just scooped it all the way through. Lenarski, quick to the basket. Can't score it, but he draws a foul. Kind of like the way Jared Lenarski's come into the game and asserted himself. He's, it's very evident that he's on the floor when he's out there. He's fast and aggressive. He's on the line shooting two. First one's up and it's good. Big south shot there, starts the Marysville run. Got a shot for Lenarski. Back rim, no good. Rebounded by Schweighoffer. Basie. Knocked away by Lenarski. Can't get it. Rebound off the rim. Knocked away by Dombrowski. I like that Lenarski standing up front here. Looks like he's going to apply a little pressure. He should. I think he's making uh, yeah. Basie uncomfortable. I think right now, if you're Coach Tanton, you might be looking at the opportunity for your defense to create offense for you because in the half court, the Saints haven't really been able to establish a rhythm that way. So maybe some things in transition to shake it up. Now, ball, a foul away from the ball on Garrison Dabrowski. Marysville takes it in. May have been a little bit of a frustration foul. I think he was disappointed in the call at the other end. And 
Maybe took it out on a cutter here at the set. I did not see it. Rebound by Schweighoffer and one. The Schweighoffer's come in here in the fourth quarter, played pretty well. Good defense, good rebounding, and he's got a chance to help Marysville take the lead. Second foul on Zimmer. Shot for Schweighoffer is good. And Marysville has a lead, I think, for the first time since about two minutes left in the first quarter. That's a big play on Schweighoffer. Yeah, you go from the opportunity for the Saints to extend the lead to four uh, on a layup, ultimately, and a nice play. Marysville comes down and answers. Has some misfortune of their own on the missed shot by Moran, but a good follow-up by Schweighoffer. And then uh, a little bit of a silly, aggressive foul there to give him the end one and being out of position. So, well, Saints, you're in your timeout right now. You got five minute and five. Not, you know, nothing lost here, but you're back at square one and you got to play, do the things that got you the lead initially. But you also had to do that within the adjustments that Marysville has made and we haven't done that quite yet. So that'll be something that our guards are gonna have to get into the paint and play a little faster like Lenarski is and then look for those opportunities for Eisenhardt and Zimmer to clean up around the cup. Yep. I think the, the, the penetrate and pass out for shots is one of the things they want to think about here. But Marysville's played good defense last, literally the last half. No doubt about it. I think since they've come out, especially up at the top here in the passing lanes. It's been uh, difficult for the Saints to get some things going. Dabrowski can't get it. Rebounded by Lenarski. And he draws the foul again. His energy has been outstanding. Lenarski has been a difference maker tonight. No doubt about it. That's fourth on Schweighoffer. That's a big foul. Yeah, especially as much as he's contributed here especially in the late going. Lenarski's got it. It's not gonna break the Saints' hearts to see him have to go down for a couple of minutes. Maybe they can take advantage. A little bit less backside help for Zimmer. And lost him some size. Uh, Correct. Last year, 6-2, uh, Schweighoffer's an e easy 6-4, so. Lenarski second shot's good. And the Saints take the lead back. Singleton now is gonna be guarded by Donaldson. Keep him in front of you, he's fast. Singleton does a good job using his body to get to the glass. Marine in the corner, guarded by Eisen. Good double team, he stepped in the line. Excellent double team, Sean Donaldson stepped in, helped back Eisenhart. One of the dangers driving the baseline there and nowhere to go. Just looked a little, like he's doing a little too much. He's their high energy guy, he really wanted to make a play. And Saints did a nice job. Natural trap under the basket, nowhere for him to go. Donaldson up to Lenarski, timeout for St. Clair, full timeout. And it's gonna to get to be a very tactical game. Now this is a coach's game, right? Yeah, this is, now it's become one. I think we're on pace to see something in the 60s and that's not what's likely gonna happen here because you're gonna trade some X's and O's here and some ideas. I think you've had ample time to look at what each team's trying to do, and now you got to draw some things specific to that and see if your guys can take the board and make it part of what their formation is on the floor. So for both teams early on in the season, I don't know if they've really had to do that yet. Um, I know that St. Clair was in a little bit of a shootout with North Branch, um, and sometimes you can just let that play out and hope things take over, but in a 44-43 game, fourth quarter, this is a little bit of a chess match here. I actually think Coach Tant works in Marysville, so you should be pretty familiar with their personnel to some yep. degree. Uh, something to consider when you watch this unfold. And the other thing I'll add is, as always in these games, foul shooting is going to be key. No doubt. Both teams are in the bonus now. Marysville has eight team fouls, St. Clair seven, so the team that makes their one-on-ones here in the next couple of fouls is going to have a huge advantage. All right, Saints have Garrison Dabrowski, Matt Eisenhart, Ryan Zimmer, Gerald Lenarski, Sean Donaldson. Dabrowski, bring it up against Perrin. This is Donaldson. 
pick from Eisenhart. Nice play by Woodard. Butler now, guarded by Lenarski. Tipped away by Donaldson. That's Tough to make that pass from the other side of half court. That's been the best answer for St. Clair is to start to be a little more aggressive, I think, in those passing lanes and put the same pressure on Marysville as they're receiving on the offensive end. Singleton, pass it out front. Perrin. There it is right there. Much better. Woodard, can't get it. To Eisenhardt. Woodard in for Schleifer, who's been pretty good. Now on forced error that time. Schweiger's going to come, come back place. in for Donaldson. Donaldson just a little bit out of control the last two possessions, two turnovers in a row. Those are big possessions there to be valued. Three minutes, 30 seconds. 31 seconds. Saints up by one. A little conference from the referees. Not sure. That was a pretty obvious call. Basie will bring it up against Jared Lenarski. And he stopped him way out by half court. That's a good job. I can't you can stop that point guard to step inside half court. You've done your job as a defensive player. <laughs> there are very few plays in formation that coaches draw that has the point guard stop 40 feet away from the rim. So a nice job by Lenarski again, good, really. Good spin by Singleton. He, he, he used his body well and spins hard to the basket. It's got to be a step in from the opposite side to stop that. First foul. <laughs> And Schweiger. DeMarco Singleton for shots up, and it's good. He's in double figures for the night. Story for Marysville defensively, and really this game and how it's kind of unfolded into a tight matchup is Ryan Zimmer was really uh, able to assert himself early in the game and has been pretty quiet here in the second half. Schweiger controls. Tie ball game. Three minutes. Donaldson, nice pass. Eisenhardt gets fouled. Nice job on a side screen and roll. Good look there. Eisenhardt with a strong take to the rim. Looking to get himself into double figures. He's got on a couple of streaky runs here tonight as well. Eisenhardt has two shots. Four shots up. Lock back window good. Matt Eisenhart, senior. Shoot the second one. Shots up. Short rim. And controlled by Basie. Tipped away by Eisenhart. Controlled by Dombrowski. And foul from behind by Perrin. And that's going to be double bonus for Marysville. On Marysville for St. Clair. Excellent job. Now that's just a smart play by Garrison Dombrowski because it didn't really matter what Cade Perrin was trying to do. It was a, a heady job of Garrison by dribbling exactly where and the attempt of Cade Perrin to run around and then he hit the brakes and uh, was able to draw the foul. Nice job. Put him at the line to take him any way you can get him. Two shots for Dombrowski. All right, Saints need to make some of these. Marysville have been making all their foul shots. First shot for Garrison. It's good. Right on cue. Senior stepping up. Here comes Schweighoffer back in with four. He's replacing Basie. That's going to make it very interesting to see who uh, actually brings the ball up for for Marysville against Lonarski. I thought the same thing. I wonder if you'll see Singleton just bring it. He seems to be confident enough to do that and then get himself to the rim. Second shot in and out for Dombrowski. Butler. Butler. Going to be guarded by Schweiger. Uh, 
Just Singleton on here. Gleason. Back out. Three pointer. Rim no good. Rebounded by Schweiger. And he picked up. You can stay there, but you can't turn over. And he turned over. That's correct call. Yeah, it wasn't the falling down. He put the ball on the floor when he fell, but when you flip around to go look, you got to make that play where you land. Singleton guarded by Donaldson. I'm sorry, Dombrowski. And he takes him. That's just not a good matchup one-on-one. -on -one. There's got to be a guy on each side to stop him. He uses his body real well. He's got a good sense of where he's at on the floor. Dombrowski takes the ball up front. Saints reset their offense. Gleason. Nice pass. Schweiger. Blocked from behind. They're going to call a foul on Butler. And Austin Schweiger go to the line shooting two. Butler's a little upset about the call way up top with the hands, but I think he has kind of draped on him when he made the block. I think it was the right call. A lot of times it's the hand down low, it's not the shot. Right, and the backside helper is supposed to be there to help him out and not put him in that position. He wasn't, so draws the foul. Saints not knocking down foul shots here. Second shot's up, no good, and rebounded by Singleton. Four in a row missed by St. Clair. Schreihofer, long three, no good. Rebounded by Dabrowski. Up ahead is Zimmer. Just lay it up. There you go. <laughs> I was wondering if that, I said, well, now we'll find out how confident he is in that. Lay that up. Brand, just thinking about it. Oh, boy, we left. Butler. Him. And foul from behind is Lenarski. Good position. Foul on Perrin. Fourth foul on Cade Perrin. Lenarski, Lenarski on the line for in two. In a good spot. Again, providing a little energy, finds himself in the line. Off the rim, no good. Well, I hate to say I told you so. <laughs> no, it's important. And uh, we've had a couple opportunities here on consecutive possessions. You've got to make sure to take advantage. And Lenarski's been pretty good. Second one's good. Two point lead for St. Clair. When he stepped to the line, I thought, well, he's been making his. So, Macy back in. You're going to probably start to see some offensive yeah. versus defensive substitutions with Schweighoffer. Almost a big play there by yep. Gleason. Macy does not look that comfortable at the no. top bringing the ball. And again, it, it, stopping that ball right around half court. Bailed out a bit that time is Brian Butler. But he'll go to the line and he'll shoot one on one. It's a little unfortunate. Probably the play there. He was. Might have anticipated more contact than there was. Shots up and good. And here's that offensive defensive substitution he talked about. Wright and Woodard for Perrin and Basie. Butler. Second shot. Up. That's no good. And knocked away by Singleton. Singleton gets all the way in. Right, all alone in the corner. Can't get it. Rebounded by Dombrowski and followed by Moran. That play there by Moran, I, I think that was actually two shots in a row where Marysville was very aggressive on the back of the, the Saints. And last, last time there was no call, and they were fortunate enough to end up forcing a, a turnover by St. Clair. That time, I think that was the right call. Not a whole lot to lose, honestly, if you're Marysville no. in that situation. You might as well be aggressive. Because you're not going to let them take it down anyways and put right. it on the foul line as quickly as possible. Right. So, And if they don't call it, maybe you can turn it over and get a putback. All right, Dombrowski on the line, shooting two. <laughs> the 
Those shots up, and it's good. Big foul shot here coming. Casey and Perrin in for Woodard and Wright. Minute eight seconds left, Saints up by two. Dombrowski on the line, shoot the second one. Dombrowski on the line, a senior barking orders at the guys behind him. Shots up and perfect. Casey. Nasty with a steal. Oh boy. Jump ball and the possession arrow is St. Clair. So that, again, Jared, great defensive player, maybe a little inexperienced offensively. Hold it. Right. You're ahead by three points, less than a minute. Take the, possession. The energy level that he naturally plays at. It's, it's one of those things where now you're coaching poise. Right. And, and that's because you want him to bring energy and you want him to do all the things that makes him a good player. But you definitely don't want him to lack poise when there's 59 seconds left with a three-point lead. You know, that's a difficult a difficult thing to coach, though. And, and yep. you, then you start to feel like you're reeling in things that make him how good he is, you know? So something that he'll learn <laughs> as the season goes on, I'm sure. I didn't see who called the timeout that time. Somebody called timeout. It might have been Marysville. Saints basketball on the, on the uh, arrow. Next possession will be Marysville. I actually think that that ended up being called a jump ball. Uh, they awarded the ball based on that arrow to the Saints. Then the Saints called a timeout, and the jump ball is being dispu disputed by the Marysville coaching staff. That arrow is going to switch uh, right. when we inbound. I think Marysville wanted to call a timeout and felt like they had possession of the basketball. All right, Dombrowski in the backcourt. Donarski, Dombrowski, Gleason, Zimmer, and Schweiger. And Dombrowski fouled out front by Butler. Good strategy there by Marysville. Just go after the ball, see if you can get a steal. Force St. Clair to make foul shots, and they're going to try to make this 44 seconds last 44 minutes if they can and keep the game as close as possible. Two shots for Dombrowski. Two shots up, and it's good. So Offensive next. for defensive substitution again. Perrin and Basie in for Woodard and Wright. Saints now up four, 44 seconds left. Down to exactly what you said. Dombrowski, second one's good. Singleton's going to be guarded by Gleason. Tough shot, rebound. Schweiger. Get it back to Dombrowski. Timeout for St. Clair. Smart play there because Schweiger was caught at the uh, half court and sideline. And I think. Uh, Singleton kind of forced that one and a little bit of desperation. There's more time than you think. That's one of the things, again, you learn as a basketball player. He's a sophomore, played a great game, but forcing a, a no-hoper at 35 seconds, only down five, hurts you. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, you want to get a bucket there, but it can be any kind, and you can run your stuff there, and they've actually gotten a few decent buckets. On the flip side of that, Austin Schweiger, nice job. The outlet was good, but at that point, to me, Garrison Dombrowski has made his last four foul shots. He's Give him the ball. He's on the floor. He's a starter. He needs to go get the ball, and Austin needs to be immediately looking for him so right. that, you know, that's that poise thing. You feel like you got to go 100 miles an hour. We, I believe Coach Tanton had to blow his final timeout on that. Right. So now you got to make sure you get the ball in, and you don't have any timeouts to, to, to deal with. So it's a five-second call, and Marysville's actually able to do a couple different things from their perspective when they know that the other team's not going to be able to bail themselves out with a timeout. All right, so we got Gleason, Lenarski, Zimmer, Dombrowski, and Donaldson. Zimmer fouled quickly by Singleton. And this is right out of the Jim Valvano how to milk a clock scenario. Coach Ryan Beer from Marysville doing a nice job and getting as much much out of these seconds as he can, and that's exactly what you want to do. No Force St. Clair to make foul shots. Zimmer, shots up, and in and out and in. Use it all, as they say. We didn't 
didn't get cheated. Touch them all. First one's usually tougher than the second. Simmer now. Jitters out. Second one is up, and it's good. Perrin. Saints want to play good defense without fouling. It's the only way Marysville can score with the clock stop. So this is right out of the playbook here for the Saints is what they want. Butler, half hook, can't get it. And he was on the back of Dombrowski. Good box out by Garrison Dombrowski. And the Saints breathing, I think, a sigh of relief here. Seven points up, 13 seconds. Yeah, I, I, I want to commend Garrison Dombrowski in the fourth. You know, he had kind of limited minutes, had a little foul trouble, <clears throat> excuse me, in the third quarter. And he's really stepped up in the last two minutes. This game was super tight. He's come in. And that foul shot notwithstanding, he made some big ones down the stretch. And that rebounding position that he just had was just fundamental. There's no disputing the call. And now he's put himself back in the line. Missed two, but, but those are the ones that, uh, honestly, now don't foul. Don't foul. There you go. Now it's just a matter of getting the ball inbounds. And in really, if you're you know, Coach Tan, you've got plenty of size that you should be able to get the ball in, especially with the wingspan of Ryan Zimmer. If the objective is just to get the ball in, you don't even have to cross right. half court. Or even to really throw it down and half the other end of court, because by the time they get it back. Oh, there, there's no shame in inbounding this to Zimmer <laughs> at the free throw line and having him tap it over his head to the backcourt. Exactly. There's very few guys that are going to score five points in six seconds from the opposite free throw line. So keep this ball in bounds and in play and get the clock going. Uh, 54 to 52 looks just like fine. a W to me. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. Things. You, can't, you just can't take, honestly, you can't take a five second call here and give Marysville the opportunity to not have any clock run, get a possession and a baseline out of bounds set up. That is your sole objective. Uh, and as a, as a player, make sure you know what the timeout situation is, whether they have any left or not. Something else coach can look at. I think they have the baseline, so a guy can enter the baseline with his teammate and throw it across. And he can move on the baseline he here, too. Yep. Kuprowski. And he's fouled with three seconds. And that was actually the old post-up play. Right. Wide body guard, and Garrison is, is exactly that. And Clear him out, leave him a handoff about a space, and uh, that works, too. Good call, and put Garrison on the line. It's more relevant that he's on the line than it is whether or not he makes them. Exactly. Shots up and a short rim. As we kind of wind down, barring something unforeseen here, nice job by Brennan Moran from Marysville with 15 points. Marco Singleton added an unofficial 12. <laughs> uh, for St. Clair, Ryan Zimmer had 13. Garrison Dombrowski ended up with a clean 10. Matt Eisenhart just shy with nine. And Jared Lenarski with an unofficial, but very important seven uh, off the bench for the Saints and a ton of energy. All right, Saints say unbeaten. Beating Marysville 54-49 for Brad Robbins. This is John Carter saying good night, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye, everybody. This CTV Sports presentation has been brought to you by St. Clair Chevy. Buick GMC, we care. By Murphy Inn, restaurant and hotel in St. Clair. By North Star Bank, North Star guiding the way. By Neiman's Family Market. By St. Clair Home Goods and Ace Hardware. And by CTV Community TV in Marine City in St. Clair.